Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is where you are. Welcome to the second day of ApacheCon 2020. It's, uh, it's really a delight to see all you people here. I wish I could actually see you. Um, this, is, this is the point on the second morning of the event where I always say, uh, how did you enjoy the event so far? And everybody yells something from the audience. And I really miss that aspect of events. But there are things about doing this as a virtual event that have been so much better than anything we could do in person. Uh, yesterday, we had the first ApacheCon session in Hindi ever, and that was amazing. We had a lot of content yesterday and earlier this morning in Mandarin, and we have a session later today, maybe tomorrow, I forget, in Spanish. And so it's just the, the virtual platform has opened us up to an enormously larger speaker and attendee audience. We have more representation from Africa this year than we've ever had before, and I'm so pleased about that. So there are some silver linings to doing this online, for sure. And I want to share with you, uh, just for a moment, what our plans are going forward. We are watching major tech companies and their travel uh, restrictions on their employees. And as of right now, we are fully expecting that the 2021 event will also be virtual. So tell your friends, we can have a uh, even bigger turnout next time. Um, we'll definitely be updating this as we, as we get closer to that, but that is currently our plan with corporations like Google and Facebook and IBM uh, having travel bans extending through June. So that's our thinking going forward. I want to start by thanking our sponsors. As you all know, we can't do this without our sponsors. And we have so many sponsors that help the foundation. These uh, listed on these next few pages are ones that are specifically sponsoring this event and helping us make this happen. Our platinum sponsors this year are Instacluster, Red Hat, Datastax, VMware, Apple, Amazon, IBM and Imply. Please take a moment sometime today to visit these sponsor booths. Thank them for sponsoring us and also look at their goods and services. So many of these organizations have built enormous infrastructure on top of the work that we do at the Apache Software Foundation. So do go by and see what they're doing. Uh, which, you know, reminds me of two announcements that I need to make. One is that later today and also tomorrow in the Imply booth, there are some seminars. One of them is at 1.30, that's Eastern US time. Um, so, you know, time zones are hard and I've been confused by time zones all week long. So visit the Imply booth and ask them what time that is in your time zone. They'll be speaking about Apache Kafka, Spark and Druid. And then also today, Instacluster, around that same time, Instacluster is um, hosting a, uh, a session on Apache Kafka, Kafka Connect, Elasticsearch, and Kibana. So do drop by and visit those booths. In addition to our platinum sponsors, we have gold sponsors, OpenLogic, Cerner, and RxM. And we have bronze sponsors, CodeThink, the US PostgreSQL Association, and MuseDev. Now, while I'm thanking sponsors, I wanna take a moment to repeat something that I said earlier today. Uh, I have a, a uh, huge thank you to go out to the other people that made this event possible. And those are the track chairs. Every time you're attending one of these sessions, it's because somebody from that product project community stepped up to put together a track of content. They worked with the speakers, they ensured that everybody was informed and they put together this content. And they're essentially running mini conferences on their own. I, I simply could not have done this without the 26 individuals 
who have stepped up to be track chairs. I also want to thank my friend and colleague, Ruth Seeley, who helped with so many of the logistical aspects and sponsor relations in this event, and my friend and colleague, Brian Prophet, who has been handling a lot of the stuff behind the scenes on social media, helping people test in the, uh, the test room, and many other things around making sure that this platform works the way that it's supposed to. So a huge thank you to them. The next thing that I wish to mention is that one of our sponsors, MuseDev, is running a bug bash. Now, I, uh, I'll be sharing some, some more statistics about this with you tomorrow. The last time I heard, there were five teams that uh, have signed up for the bug bash. For those of you not familiar with it, MuseDev is a code analysis tool. So this is cool technology that looks at the source code of your Apache project and identifies potential problems in the code. And the bug bash is teams competing to address these problems. They'll be judged on the frequency and quality of their pull requests to these projects. And then those changes will actually go into these projects, making them better for you, the user. So that's pretty exciting there. Do look at s.apache.org slash bug bash for more information or drop by the Bug Bash channel on the Slack instance. I'll mention Slack in just a moment if you don't already, if you aren't already familiar with that. Now, one of the things that we do when you come to our live events is we greet you at the door and maybe give you a, uh, a T-shirt. We can't do that this year, but we do have a T-shirt anyway. I'm wearing mine. Isn't it awesome? And uh, this was this was designed by one of our community members, Ruth Seeley. And what you'll notice is, if you look close, this is all one continuous line. And that is symbolic of the way that we're all connected together through the Apache Software Foundation and open source communities. So it's uh, both a lovely design and also symbolic of what we do here. The other thing that we give you at conferences is a uh, conference badge. And if you if you look behind me, you'll see that that I, I collect Apache Con badges. I've been collecting Apache Con badges for, for 20 years now. So it was important to me to have a badge for this event. You can get your own badge at s.apache.org slash ACAH dash badge. And uh, you can customize that and print that, download that and print that. So you have your own event badge. During the event, there are a number of ways that you can connect with other attendees and also with the, uh, the event planners. The first of these is obviously the chat that is right next to you while you are watching me. There are chats that are global for the whole event and also per session so you can discuss with people that are in the session that you're in what's going on on stage. We also have a Slack instance for those who like to chat on Slack. And you can join that at s.apache.org slash apachecon dash Slack. We have rooms for speaker assistance on there, but also we have a room for each session. I'm sorry, not each session, each track. So you can go in that track and talk with other people that are attending that same track. Um, we have the hallway track, which is listed in the sessions. And I was in there for several hours this morning having ad hoc conversations with other attendees. That was really productive. I encourage you to attend the hallway track. And we have polls. I notice in the chat that Suvendu just mentioned that this is his first ApacheCon. One of the polls asks, how many times have you been to ApacheCon? And 85% of you all, this is your first ApacheCon. That is Super exciting to me. This event has the most first time attendees ever, and it has the most first time speakers ever. And these two things together are making this a really exciting event because one of my goals in running this event is to grow the community. So this is just super exciting. All right, let's see, what else do we have? Um, I do, like I said, I encourage you to visit our sponsor booths all through the day. And the networking feature allows you to have one-on-one -on -one meetings 
with randomly chosen other attendees, which is a great way to meet new people. And follow us on Twitter for last minute updates, schedule changes, and so on. So I am about to step off stage for just a moment to um, prepare one, our first keynote for the day. Our first keynote speaker is Camille Fournier, who is the head of platform engineering at Two Sigma. And she's also the author of a book about how management principles apply to open source projects. So uh, I'm gonna go prepare, uh, make sure that everything's set up and we'll be back on stage in about five minutes. Following that, we have two more keynotes. Uh, my actual colleague at Red Hat, I do work at Red Hat in my day job, my colleague at Red Hat, Kim Huang, will be speaking about the importance of conscious language choices in our software platforms. And this will be followed by another sponsored keynote by Catherine McGarvey from VMware. And she is also involved in Apache Geode, RabbitMQ, Kubernetes, Cloud Foundry, Knative. And uh, it's, uh, it, it's really my honor to have these keynote speakers with us today. So, if you will wait for me for five minutes, I will be right back to introduce our first keynote speaker of the day. <laughs> 